Fun fact, Oppo is the only technology company that's name is the same backwards. Try it, Oppo. And backwards, Oppo. It's tricky to innovate smartphones in the year 2019. There are only so many ways you can differentially present an impossibly thin sheet of glass and microchips. This year, all the big names have turned their attention to the camera, and Oppo's Reno2 is no exception, boasting an impressive quad camera system. That's right, the Reno2 sports four cameras. Best of all, they're not housed in a sort of IKEA square hob design like other phones. Instead, the four cameras sit behind a glass sheet for protection in a uniform strip that does not add any bulk to your sleep blower. Each different camera specializes in providing the clearest images at any given distance. They come together to provide a five times hybrid zoom magnification thanks to images being taken using all four cameras. There's also 20 times digital zoom. The four cameras also provide an ultra steady video, reducing the shaky cam issues of recording video. Better yet, it takes these videos at an impressive 60 frames per second. The smartphone comes with features such as ultra dark mode, ultra steady mode, and a video editor. Also, ultra dark mode will automatically set in when brightness is less than five lux. And all those camera smarts are driven by an onboard CPU and improved ColorOS 6.1. All in all, it's no surprise this phone was chosen to light up the facade of the Burj Khalifa recently. So let's take a look at that. Beyond the cameras, which we could go on and on and on about, the shark fin selfie cam is also fantastic, by the way. There's a host of other features to get into. The Renault 2 has a 6.5 inch AMOLED screen, meaning that refresh rates are snappy and colors appear more vivid. 93.1% of the phone is made of screen. This is thanks to the lack of any kind of bezels due to the selfie cam being housed in the device itself. There's also a lack of a home button. The phone is powered by a speedy 730G Snapdragon processor, which has up to 8 gigabytes of RAM and can handle up to 13 hours of video watching. That means you get supreme processing power, which makes browsing the web, flicking through apps, and mobile gaming an absolute breeze. More importantly is the price. And considering that the Oppo Reno2 comes in at almost half the price of other flagship phones, it is almost certainly the smartphone to beat. That has been another episode of Tech Talk. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please do hit subscribe and we'll be back next week with another video. Bye-bye.